know, I kind of went to them with a, a kind of two-pronged idea. Let's kind of uh, do a, a, a liquid and solid collaboration. We're pretty fearless in terms of finding partners from different industries. But one, one thing that we're uh, really particular about is making sure it's a very authentic and equitable collaboration. It's a luxury to do business with somebody you're also friends with. The first time I met Sam, he showed up with a six pack of IPAs and we sat in the New York showroom and we kicked around ideas for what could be our possible collaboration. So what we've done is we've created not only a craft beer that we're going to be launching here in the next few months, but we've also created a capsule program that we think really hits home to what Dogfish represents and what Woolworths represents. The women's shirt is kind of a beach cover-up slash shirt dress. It's like a, a basically glorified oversized but semi-fitted man's Oxford uh, that's long enough to be, be a, a bit of a dress. It has like an X uh, belt loop in the back, so if you wanted to tie it and cinch it for something that's more shaped, you can, or you can just throw it over uh, when you go to the beach or hang it out around the house. Uh, the men's shirt's a little bit more um, design forward, uh, mo modern sort of uh, cut fit. The, the Chambay shirt has uh, anchor buttons that are also colored red and green to signify port and starboard. Koozies have that design theme as well, a red and green button. So the other items that we're doing uh, with Woolrich is a beautiful wool uh, blanket, and that blanket's great for the end of the bed as it will be in the hotel rooms in the Dogfish Inn in Lewis, but it's also great to wrap it up and don't treat it so preciously and bring it on your bike to the beach and lay it out and unpack your picnic and your beers and uh, use it as a picnic blanket as well. And then the final piece that we're doing as part of the capsule collection is a uh, sort of nautical tinged uh, uh, baseball hat, uh, but it's a soft chambray cloth and then it shows the green and red uh, buttons and our logos uh, signifying port and star. <laughs> um, Pennsylvania tuxedo. <laughs> so, a Pennsylvania tuxedo, of which I am wearing a small component of today, uh, is the uh, local yokel terminology for the traditional iconic red and black hunting uniform that Woolrich really made its reputation on uh, for hunters on the East Coast and beyond. I read the founder, John Rich's uh, diaries uh, from written, I think, in the 19 or 1840s, where he talked about, you know, they built their mills on intentionally near great water sources so they could build the mills and power them with, with water. And they would farm along the banks of these waterways. And John Rich spoke about farming rye and wheat, but he also spoke about uh, being taking part in a barn raising or doing a building and he, how he almost died and broke his neck, fall, fell off the rafters because he had too much of his own homemade spruce beer. And so thinking about him farming wheat and rye and drinking spruce beer, I thought the most you know, authentic way into doing a wool rich beer would be to revive this founder's recipe using wheat and rye like they grew in Woolrich uh, on the family land and the spruce uh, that the forests around Woolrich are, are so well known for. When I think of craft beer, I think of rustic wool, trudging through the woods, getting lots of flavors, uh, and really being down and dirty at, at, the, at, at the level of things that are growing in the woods, and that's why I think a Pennsylvania tuxedo is the right outfit to personify beer.